Hello, buddy. It's Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. And today's title of our subjects is a lot, a lot of people doing a little bit. A lot of people doing a little bit. So I'll wait for Mark Zuckerberg and Meta and, and their algorithms to go out there and share with everyone that's following me uh, to let them know that I'm doing a video live. And what we'll do is we'll get started in just um, uh, a few seconds, like 40 seconds. And so um, <clears throat> here they come. Hey, Bill Shoemaker, thank you very much. Had an awesome birthday. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, Arthur. Hi, John. Hey, Shauna. Hey, Craig. How are you? Hi, Paul. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Verne. Um, Really, really uh, awesome to th think. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, hey, Kai. True. Happy, happy payday. Uh, sort of awesome. I think it was like 258 or something like that. 258 weekly checks in a row. Pretty cool. <laughs> and uh, we'll get started just in a few seconds. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So hello, everyone. My name is Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. And the subject for today is a lot of people doing a little bit. Now, you know, this goes against uh, our thinking, you know, contrary. You know, it, it's the, uh, I learned this early in life working with a lot of my mentors that a lot of the stuff that I know, um, you know, I have this phrase, this quote, is if what you know isn't so or true, when would you like to know? And, and uh, my mentor was really, really good at getting into my head, asking me why things are why they are. And, you know, mostly it's because we've heard somebody else say them. And, and you know, it's basically programming, right? So there's one thing that, that really I see as a huge, huge, huge difference on what people should do in this industry and, and, and building. So my goal has always been to basically, I learn from a mentor that learn from a mentor how to have a lot, a lot, a lot of people in your group responsible for your income. In fact, when I heard this statement for the first time and someone said, you know, you know, uh, I have 30,000 people responsible for my income. And I was like, what? And then they turned around and they said this statement, which is mind boggling to me. He goes, Robert, what if everyone that's responsible for my income over 30,000 people, and today Terry and I have over 31,500 and something, what if they were all lazy? They were all lazy and all they did is did one hour, one hour of, of work a month. Then I get paid on 30,000 hours, 30,000 hours a month. And so I don't know what the national uh, average income is. You know, what, the, what, what, what is the national average of minimum wage? Maybe some of you could post that in here. And so just understand this. If you took the minimum average wage, and I think it's probably not $10, 10, uh, $10 but if you took 30,000 hours and you took it times, let's say, 10 bucks, that's $300,000. $300,000. And so what if you got a percentage of that? You know, so if you got 10% of that, like in the, the compensation plan, you know, pays up to 20%, um, you know, you're looking at $30,000 a month. Does that, this, so, you know, leverage is something that, and residual is something that I'd like to really help you with as far as a paradigm, right? So now let, you know, my son Matthew is here, you know, uh, um, him and his wife, uh, uh, Hannah, and so me and him were doing some masterminding today. And where someone really sees the example of this, and I want to really get this in your, in your thought patterns, right? Is the first time that Hillary Clinton ran for president. So when she first ran for president, it was back against uh, President Obama. And what's unique about that is Hillary Clinton and the Clinton machine you know, her husband being elected, uh, not only as a governor, but then uh, as a president, Bill Clinton, that they got this political machine going, right? 
And so they have a lot, a lot of donors, a lot of deep pockets, a lot of people that that donate to uh, their 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 uh, you know running for office, right? And Obama raised more money than Hillary Clinton for her com- campaign for their for his campaign, and she had more. He had always had more money from a lot of people doing a little bit. So it wasn't like you're seeking out donors that can pay $10,000 for a plate at a dinner or $100,000 for a plate at another fundraiser event, right? Um, And so, you know, a person's mentality in this industry is what if I could find one person to go out and sell a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff, like tens of thousands of dollars in product, right? And another mentality is is that some people get in this idea of, it's called the big deal syndrome, right? So it's like, oh my God, if I found this product and I could get this product in every Walmart, you know, they get in this big idea that, you know, they're going to go out to a a, a place or a person, maybe an influencer, and and they're going to sell all of this product, all of this product, the, the big deal syndrome. And so when you understand the Obama movement, you know that he out raised more money than her and won the presidency by simply getting $5, $10 from a lot of people, right? And you think that that would be over, right? So Obama serves his time and now all of a sudden here comes the Trump era and you got Hillary Clinton now running against uh, Donald Trump and it's like, hey, this is the second time that she's going to do this and she goes out there and gets more big donors. So Hillary Clinton raised way more money in her second campaign for presidency than she did the first. But a lot of people gave a little bit to Donald Trump. (laughs) And it's like people, when they get in this industry, this industry, they think that they can get to the top of position or should I just say a full-time income? Let's not worry about ranks, right? So they mentally believe that the way that they get to a top position or a full-time income is by selling. And then some people say it's by recruiting. And then some people say it's by both. What if it wasn't any one of those three options? What if it was just all about duplication? That you actually could come to somebody and say, listen, would you ever buy a premium quality product that's better than things that are sold at Walmart, Costco, Amazon or Target? What if you could buy things that your family use each and every day and it was better quality and you could actually purchase that from a company and have it drop shipped to your home? And now the goal is a lot of people doing a little bit. So what are we asking them to do in this scenario? The only thing we're asking them to do is just swap from a average or below average product to a quality premium product. That's all we're asking them to do. I'm not asking them to sell a product. I'm not asking them to recruit people that need to make money. I'm very simply asking them, would they be interested once they try the product? Of course, try the product with a 60 day money back guarantee. Try the products and have a real, real experience. And then from that experience, to simply do the same thing that I was taught to do. So if you're looking to replace income, say it was $5,000, you know, that's 50,000 in volume. You'd be a 50K. And in this company, you would be making $60,000 a year. You would totally replace your income with 555 people. A lot of people doing a little bit. So me and my son got on this thing about talking about this and think about GoFundMe, 
right? So you get these really, really super heartfelt stories, super heartfelt stories about someone that is just in a bad place at a wrong time, right? And they get hurt. And it's not from one person going, listen, you know what? I want to help that that elderly person. I think I'd seen the newest fundraiser, a GoFundMe was uh, an elderly person that had to go back to work. And I, I don't remember if they were in their 60s or 70s or even 80s. But this person came back to work and they said that they had to come back to work because their you know, social security and the money that they were making was not enough. And there was a couple of people that just said, not on my watch, that, that, that's not happening on my watch. So they put together a GoFundMe page, right? And I guess there's like a, a $200,000 or something like that, that was raised from GoFundMe to help this gentleman retire and, and not have to work his, his later years in life. Now, how many of you would agree if we could go to that, and believe it or not, I, I put on put in the, the, the top GoFundMe pages, right? And the number one page was by Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, and he did something for feeding children. $54 million was raised. $54 million was raised. And so, you know that wasn't a million dollars from 54 people. You know it wasn't a half a million dollars. You know what I mean? From 100 people. Are you guys getting this? It's a lot, a lot, a lot of people. I should have glanced on the page and found it on GoFundMe and, and see how many people that have donated to this cause. And so when people first get involved in this industry, their first thought is, let me find the best salespeople that I can find. And I'm going to have them go out and sell a bunch of product. And if that's your philosophy, your personal philosophy, or your thoughts of this industry, I need to find some good salespeople. I need to find some good salespeople. I got to find some good recruiters. Instead of finding, what, what, what if there was a way for people to supplement, replace their income? by using premium quality products. If, if you just knew that, then you'd understand there's another video that I have that if you guys wanted to watch it, it was fun for me to do last year. And it's why Amway, why Amway is kicking our ass. And it's just not MDC, it's every network marketing company on the planet. When you look at the big, big, big companies like Mary Kay and Avon, it's like, listen, why wouldn't you want to buy premium quality makeup and then actually share it with other people that would want to buy premium quality makeup? My wife did Avon. And she had all these people that just went out there and said, you know what? So when you're talking to somebody and saying, listen, you can buy the product at retail uh, or what you could do is become a free affiliate and buy it from yourself and get it at wholesale. Uh, that's that's pretty much a no-brainer. So when you think that way, that you just want a bunch of people that are utilizing the product, loving the product, and then trying to find other people that are trying to take their buying habits away from the, the Costco, to Target, to Walmart, and the Amazon. Does that make sense to you? Because that's the way that it was I, I was going to word, use the word, but I'm going to just use it. That is the way this opportunity or business model was pitched to Robert Hollis. See, I didn't understand the products. I didn't understand the stuff about the products. I didn't understand about the company and how long it's been involved. And then all of a sudden, they did this theoretical example. My example is, is I, I talk about how to make $5,000. Uh, Craig, if you could be nice enough to post that for me. And so, you know, when someone said this is you and drew a circle, and I tell people this is a joke, but it's not a joke. When Bill got done, my mentor with this theoretical example that, you know, is called the napkin presentation, which is out of this book, which I did a, a, a video on every chapter, right? It's this theoretical example of a lot of people doing a little bit. 
So it, it's funny because even, um, you know, when I watch Shark Tank, right? The new concept is fundraising, right? So now if you want to get your idea out there and you got a product, uh, excuse me, an invention that you think is revolutionary, now they're doing this for movies. So instead of, again, thinking about who's got 10 grand to give me, who's going to invest in my company for $100,000, who's going to invest in my company for a million dollars, you put together what is called a Kickstarter, a Kickstarter campaign. This is another company. And what you do is you put together packages, all kinds of different packages um, that if a person gave you X amount of dollars, they would get a package with this, this, and this. And so now these companies come in and they say, well, wow, what have you done for sales? And they said, well, we put together a Kickstarter campaign and we sold like 4,000 units and, and raised, you know, $300,000. See, this is a new way that in this world where everyone's connected, virtually everybody, let's say, you know, uh, 3 billion people out of 8 billion are connected. Then why not understand that you could share a thought of a lot of people doing a little bit instead of you personally consistently looking for people that are type A personalities that are closers, you know, like in Glen Gary, Glenn LaRosse or the uh, Tin Men, you know what I mean? Or all these movies out there like uh, Wolf of Wall Street, you know, that's what makes people not want to do this business. Are you guys hearing me? It's like they know they're not a sales type. They know they're not a sales type. So how does a non-sales type that's not good at sales, not good at closing, not good at asking for money, how do they actually recruit, recruit somebody that is a salesperson? Do you want to recruit a bunch of people that are non-sales people? Yes. That's the paradigm shift. That's the paradigm shift. So now what I'm doing is every day I'm thinking about how many people I can help, millions, and how I can get them better quality products and how I can show them how to get them to share those better quality products with enough people where they, A, they're no longer paying for their own products. So now they can actually start adding more than 90 points or maybe $150 worth of products with tax and freight. But now they've referred enough people because they believe in the product where their product is free. What a concept. So I not only showed you how to get better premium quality products for you and your family, but now I've showed you how to get them free. Are you guys following me? Now the next step I want to do is I want to get you some profit. So now if you did share the business with people and what you're doing, well, what are you doing? They're like, well, how's that, how's that, that thing doing? That, that, that thing you're doing? Oh, I'm in profit. Really? Oh yeah, I invested this much money and now I'm in profit. I make profit, in fact, every month. Really? Then the next goal is to what? get a rank advancement. So now a rank advancement to me is a pay raise. So I get to mentally teach people how to use this business model. This is the way I was taught. This is the way I was taught how to have 30,000, 31,000 people responsible for my income. I know there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, in fact, a majority of the people, because of their programming, that don't do it the way that I do it. And what's the result? Not making the money that I make, not getting the praise and recognition that I get, and also not having the freedom that I have. See, once you're a salesperson and you make money by doing sales, then you got to continue to do sales. 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 
But when you get to, wow, what if I could make an extra $400 a month? You can. That'd be like 40,000, no, 4,000 in volume. You know what I mean? Uh, 4,000 in volume, that's 40 people. So what if you had them buying every month? See, that's the thing. You know, people are trying to teach people to sell every month and they're teaching them to recruit every month instead of basically coming up with a motive. What's in it for me? Let's all create a movement of a lot of people doing a little bit because that's how GoFundMe's work, crowdfunding works. See, that's how uh, uh, all, all the other things work that way. It's like if you ever looked at any uh, company that deals with internet service or cell phone service, their number one thing all day, every day is they'll virtually give the phones away, give the hardware away, the modems, the Wi-Fi, things that give you Wi-Fi. They'll give them away to get your monthly service. They'll give them away to get the monthly service. Are you guys hearing me? So when you see these companies that are worth billions and billions of dollars, and you even hear about Netflix or Amazon, and you find out they got 200 million people on Prime at $14.99 a month. You know who's the biggest one? The biggest one is Apple. Do you guys know that Apple makes more money from the App Store than any product that they sell. The watch, the phone, the laptops, the desktops. They make more money off the apps that are sold on the App Store. Because when someone gets an app on an Apple App Store, every time money goes to a transition on that app, they get a percentage. They get a percentage. And a lot of people miss this model. So now you look how much money that Apple makes and you can look it up on Google. You can look it up on ChatGPT. <laughs> how much money does Apple make on a yearly basis from subscriptions? And it, it'll, it'll blow your flipping mind. It will blow your mind. So this is programming that you got to focus on to get freedom. Instead of, I'm going to out recruit everybody and I'm going to outsell everybody, or I'm going to do both. What if there was a way that someone could do something very simple by watching a short video, creating a free affiliate account like they did with Amazon, YouTube, Zoom, Facebook, then try products out, premium quality products that they already are using from Walmart, Target, Costco, Amazon, and they can change their buying habits with these premium quality products and then share their experience of those products with some other people. See, I'm always talking about how to supplement your income. How, if you can go from $100 a month, you can go to $200 a month. But if you're not teaching this philosophy of duplication and how simple this easy and easy it is, then you're basically going to the, the sound principles inside of this book. So tell me how many of you people know, know this scenario. The salesman syndrome. So you bring in a lot of people and you sell them on getting stuff and then they don't do anything because they're not sales types and then you got to replace them. And then they don't do anything and then you got to replace them. And then they don't do anything. And they, so the number one thing that I hear in a complaint with this business model is that everyone that I have in the company doesn't do anything. That's because they just don't know something simple to do that they can say in their mind, I can do it. No one ever took the time to show them a napkin presentation of a theoretical example on how this can change their life. What's in it for me? And if they understood the simplicity of how to be able to get an income off a lot of people, 
then that's the key. That's what I was showing 36 years ago. You know, the person brought up examples. Hey, have you heard of Jennifer Aniston? Yeah, I've heard of Jennifer Aniston. Did you know that her and, their, and the other actors of Friends actually did what is called a back-end deal on Friends? And they get royalties, a passive residual income every time an episode of Friends is swatched. So now Jennifer Aniston and their and her co-actors and the and the friends make twenty million dollars a year. Did you hear me? Twenty million dollars a year. Because they want a lot of people watching one episode or two episodes. Let me get you one more. You've heard of Seinfeld, right? Do you know that all the actors in Seinfeld chose to be paid up front? No back end deal. All the other characters, Jerry Seinfeld and Larry David decided to pick the residual. See, that's more long term. A lot of people buying a little bit instead of a few people buying thousands of dollars of product. Because once they buy a hundred dollars or two hundred or three hundred dollars worth of points or products, they don't need to be on subscription. You see what I mean? They got enough product to last them a lifetime. And Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld make on average four. They ha they have to split four hundred million dollars a year. If you went right now off off uh, this video and go to Google and put in Jerry Seinfeld's net worth. He's really, really close to being a billionaire. Think about that. That you're smart enough to get a lot of people doing a little bit instead of consistently focusing on you and other people doing a lot. So I just thought I'd throw it out there. Uh, I know that I'm gonna go from 31 to 62 thousand people responsible for my income, 140,000 people responsible for my income, you know, 400, 500, a million. Because the path has already been laid for me and it's been done for 154 years. A lot of people doing a little bit. It's not the way we're taught, why? Because programming says you need to get educated and then you gotta go out and get a good job and the only one responsible for your income is you. See, this is not stuff that's taught in school. They don't want everyone to know that you could go out and build an organization of a lot of people that are responsible for your income. So I love and appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next video. And if no one's giving you permission to succeed in life, let me be the first. Let me be the first to tell you that if an auto mechanic from Montana that's dyslexic can do this, so can you. And so I've been putting videos together virtually every day to make sure that you get the philosophy and the understanding and the simple duplicatable certain way to make this business work for you. If you've heard this hasn't worked for a lot of people, it's just like our government. It's just like what we are. It, it's sad that, you know, 80%, what, no. 95% of the people in the United States makes less than 200,000 a year. And you're probably thinking, I don't have to make 200,000 a year. Well, that means that 90% of the people like make less than 10,000 a year. I mean, $100,000 a year. So if you do what everybody else is doing, you're gonna get what they got. Thank God, and I do every day, multiple times a day, I found someone that knew how to Teach me how to do something something duplicatable and easy where I could get income off 31,000 people enjoying and loving premium quality products. So please do me a huge favor and share this video with people that are struggling with this profession and struggling with this business model because if you change your philosophy and change your thoughts, then that will change your outcome. Take care and see you on the next video. Bye for now.